Facebook's the most popular option and my last poll was Bluetooth low energy spam. So what Bluetooth low energy spam does is the flipper will send Bluetooth packets and nearby devices, the, they have to be between five and seven meters close to the flipper for this to work. On the person's device, they will get a whole bunch of Bluetooth requests. So I'm gonna show you how this works. This is gonna be a very brief video because there's not much to it. So I'm gonna open the app. You have, all, you have 11 options. So you have everything in the kitchen sink, which floods all the different types of attacks at once to all different types of devices. You've got the Bluetooth settings flood, which I'll show you in a second. You've got the iOS 17 lockup crash, which has mostly been patched and doesn't work anymore. It'll just send Bluetooth requests. You have your a Apple uh, pop-up. You have your Apple um, device pop-up. You have your Android device uh, pop-up, your Samsung Buds pop-up, your Samsung Watch pop-up. Then you have for Windows computers, and then you have these two silly ones for love spouse sex toys. So I'm gonna go to the beginning. I'm gonna show you everything in the kitchen sink as well as Bluetooth settings flood. So my flipper is near my device. I'm gonna start this attack, and you'll see any second now, I'll get a Bluetooth request on my device. So once I close it, um, another one will pop up and when you close it it'll keep popping back up and it'll just keep doing that so I'm going to stop this attack so that's basically what it does it keeps flooding the phone with Bluetooth requests now the Bluetooth settings flood that I'll show you what it does So I'm going to start that attack and now I'm going to go down to my Bluetooth settings and as you can see there's a whole bunch of different devices in the Bluetooth settings. It fills the Bluetooth settings with a whole shit ton of, of devices, um, which can really confuse somebody. Uh, and if you try to connect to it, nothing happens. Now, um, so I'm going to stop this attack. So one thing you need to be very careful of is doing a Bluetooth flood can cause somebody's phone to crash. And there was this one particular incident where somebody did this on somebody's phone and the person's phone was controlling their insulin pump and they basically went uh, into... Um, uh, a, a very bad blood sugar situation. So you need to be very careful with the way you're using this app and who you use it on. Using it on your friends or a coworker is, is pretty benign. That's probably not the end of the world. But if you're just going in public and going to a McDonald's and turning this on, well, that's a stupid thing to do. That can cause big problems for people because this can cause a device to crash. So uh, there you go. That's Bluetooth low energy spamming for you. Uh, my next video is going to be on universal two-factor authentication. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Cheers.